In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called reorder list. So given a singly linked list and we want to reorder in this format, um, so we are now going to modify the values in the linked list nodes. Only nodes itself might be changed. So here you can see we're given a linked list, reorder them, it will look something like this. So we're basically getting these nodes reordered. So at the end, we're going to return the, uh, we're, we're not returning anything. If you realize we're returning void. So we're basically just modifying the list, right? So we're, but not modifying the values. And uh, here you can see we're giving another link list and we want to revert, reorder them and it will look something like this. So how can we solve this problem? So it's very similar to the previous fast and slow pointers that we did, uh, kind of similar to the palindrome link list one, but basically we're just going to get the, uh, the current, uh, we're gonna have a slow pointer and a fast pointer and the slow pointer, basically, um, we're going to get slow pointer points to the, the, the middle node in the linked list. And the fast pointer is going to point to, uh, so basically, we're going to get the slow pointer point to the middle node in the linked list. Then we're going to reverse the last half of the linked list. And once that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to break those two lists in half, right? Uh, instead of node 2 pointing to node 3, what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, something like this, where we have... Um, so we're gonna have no no two point to null, right? We're gonna get no two point to null. Then we're gonna reverse the last half of link list, and it will give us no four point to no three, right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get we're gonna have two pointers. So one pointer is gonna be uh, pointed to no one, right? And the other pointer is gonna to point to no two uh, no four actually. And uh, we're gonna get no one or pointer one points to pointer two, and pointer two is gonna to point to the node that pointer one used to point to which is no two. So no one point no four, right? We're gonna, let's write it out. So in this case, we have no one point no four, no four point no two, and no two point no three. And no three is gonna point to null, right? And let's say if we have another node here, like let's say we have five, right? So what we're gonna do is if the node, in this case, no two is gonna point to no three, and no three is gonna point to the node that no two is to point to, which is null. But if the no two dot nest is null, we're gonna get no three point to its original node, which is gonna be no five, right? So those are things that we have to pay attention to. But basically, um, the idea is pretty similar to how we did it in the previous fast and slow pointers questions. So first, I'm just gonna write out the steps. Basically, we're gonna have our base case, right? So if we have a situation where the head is equal to null or head dot nest is equal to null, then we can just return, right? And uh, then we're gonna define our slow and fast pointers. So once we have our slow and fast pointers, we're gonna make sure we have, we're gonna get slow pointer point to the middle node, uh, middle node in the list, right? So once we have that done, right, we have slow pointer points to the middle node in the list, uh, we're going to reverse the last half link list. But first we wanna make sure we break the list, right? We wanna make sure that we get the, um, the node that they used to point to the, the middle node, we want to get that node point to null. I call it break the list, right? To break the, the link list. Once we've done that, we want to make sure we reverse the last half of the list. Once we reverse the last half of the list, we're going to, um, yeah, we basically just going to reorder the list, right? So reorder the list. Okay, so let's try to fill them in. So in this case, if head is equal to null, or if head.nest is equal to null, we can just return, right? So we're not returning anything, we're just return. Our method's done, right? So then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna define our slow pointer. So list node slow is equal to head, and uh, fast pointer is gonna equal to head as well. The goal is we wanna get the slow pointer move one node at a time and the fast pointer move two nodes at a time so that we get fast pointer move to point to null and slow pointer move point to the middle node in the link list. And then we're going to get um, uh, proceed, right? We're gonna break the list, reverse the last half of the list and so on. So in this case, uh, we're going to say while fast does not equal null and fast.nest does not equal null then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna have slow is equal to slow.nest. And fast is equal to fast.nest.nest. .nest. Okay, so then we're gonna think about how to break the list. 
So to break a list, we're going to have another list node, which is going to call pre, which is going to equal to null. This Basically, this pointer is going to point to the, the node that slow used to point to, right? So we're going to have pre is equal to slow, slow is equal to slow.nest, right? So the previous node is going to be the previous node of the slow pointer, right? So to break the list, all we have to do is say break uh, pre.nest is equal to null. So that when we get so that we can be able to get no two instead of no two point no four we want to get no two point null right so then what we're going to do is we're going to reverse the last half of link list right so if we were to reverse the last half of link list we're going to we're going to um, define our pointers right so we're going to have less list node p1 which is the pointer one is going to be equal to head P2 is basically going to be equal to reverse, right? We're going to have write this reverse method, which takes this um, slow pointer, which is the middle node in the link list, and we reverse that link list. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, reorder them, right? So we're going to uh, focus on reorder the link list. So say while L1, right, P1 does not equal null, and P2 does not equal null. Uh, we're just gonna um, have save the next next one, which is the p1.next, right? p1.next and list node, right? So let's say list node or next two is gonna be p2.next. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save those nodes, right? We're gonna get the current p1.next is equal to p2, and p2.next is equal to p is gonna equal to um, next one right which is going to be this node right here and uh, then we're going to move both pointers one to the one to the right right so in this case we get uh, p1 is equal to next one and p2 p2 is equal to next two right so now we have p1 is equal to this and p2 is equal to this then we're going to proceed further but there could be a situation like i just mentioned right where we have p2 uh, p1 points to p2 and p2 dot nest is next one right but next one is null and there's one node right here so what we're going to do is this we're going to say if next one is equal to null right we're going to have next two otherwise we're going to have next one okay and then at the end we're done but we have to implement the reverse method so it returns a list node right the head node of the reverse version uh, reverse uh, the, 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 the sublist that we reversed. So we're going to have um, call this reverse method and uh, we're going to pass takes a list node. So we're we'll just call head and uh, we're going to define our base case, which is if head is equal to null or head.nest is equal to null, then we can just uh, return head, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to have a, just like how we did it in reverse link list, we're just going to have a previous pointer as well as the current pointer, which is point to head. So while current does not equal to null, we're going to get, um, we're going to have a temp variable that stores current dot nest, right? So we're going to change the direction where each, every single node point to, and at the end, we're going to return to the head node. So we're going to get current.nest is equal to pre, and pre, uh, pre is basically equal to current, right? And then current is now equal to temp. So we're going to continue to do that until we get the current is equal to null, and we're going to return pre, which is going to be the new head of this sublist. And once we've done that, let's try to run our code. Okay, let's try with a few more examples. All right, let's try to submit. Okay, so yeah, basically the goal is we, we're, um, as you can see, we have the base case and define a slow and fast pointers. Then we have a, when we get the slow pointer move to the middle node in the link list, then we break the list, right? We break the list in half, we get the previous pointer.nest is null. Then we reverse the last half of the link list, and then we want to make sure we get P1 and P2 um, in the, the correct position. Then we reorder the list where we have P1 does not equal null and P2 does not equal null. Then we're gonna have next is equal to P1.next and P2 uh, next two is equal to P2.next, 
right? So P2, P1.next is equal to P2, and P2.next is equal to either P, uh, next one or next two, it depends uh, either one of them is null or, and so, so in this case, if uh, both of them are null, then of course P2 is gonna point to null. But then after we've done that, we're gonna get P1 is equal to next one, and P2 is equal to next two. And uh, of course, we're gonna to continue to do that until if, if one of them is equal to null, right? Um, so yeah, so there you have it, and this is how we solve this reorder uh, list problem in Leetcode. So thank you for watching.